W-I-L-L-Y-S. When talking Jeep, how do you pronounce it? The iconic Jeep brand is known all over the world. Every Jeep vehicle model has a unique story to tell with a rich history that dates all the way back to the Willys MB. The Willys MB, the first Jeep to hit the production line. This go-anywhere, do-anything Jeep 4x4 vehicle became the hero for thousands of Allied soldiers around the world in the 1940s, later becoming the civilian hero for many decades to come. During the war, the U.S. infantry needed a low-profile, powerful vehicle with four-wheel drive. Three commercial companies put in their bids, American Bantam, Willis Overland Motors, and the Ford Motor Company. Each company was tasked to build a vehicle for testing. There were three prototypes, the Willis Quad, designed by Willis Overland Motors in Toledo, Ohio. This little beast of a machine was powered by its Go Devil engine that produced 61 HP and 105 pounds of torque. The Blitz Buggy, designed by American Bantam out of Butler, Pennsylvania, worked with Spicer. One of Bantam's focuses was the axles and transfer case. The Pygmy, designed by the Ford Motor Company, the two Ford pilot vehicles are now sitting in museums. It is said neither the original Bantam pilot nor the Willys Quad survived. In July of 1941, the contract was awarded to Willis Overland Motors using combined parts of all three prototypes. The Willys MB was born. John North Willis was an American automotive pioneer and diplomat. His company, Willis Overland Motors, became the second largest car maker in the United States after Henry Ford. John Willis spells his name W-I-L-L-Y-S, but it's pronounced Willis. That's how the owner pronounced his name. So Willis must be the proper pronunciation. A quick look at the top of either Wikipedia page, Willis Overland Motors or John North Willis, shows the proper pronunciation is Willis. The incorrect pronunciation is Willie's, but it has been used for many decades by people of all walks of life, up to and including many of the world's most esteemed Jeep historians. So it's become acceptable to hear and use either pronunciation. But going back in history, Willis was the first and proper way to pronounce Willies. For more Jeep Life with Jeep Mama, head over to my blog at jeepmama.com.